Hey there guys, just Toon Gamer here again. Um, so we're going to have another match in the Master League. This is episode 3, I believe. Um, some signings still in an, <laughs> in a incoming and ongoing, basically. Um, see what the next match is. I haven't actually checked, but we've won the last two. So we've actually got a home match this time, and it's going to Bristol City. Again, lovely looking uh, kits from Pez World. If you haven't downloaded them, you have to. If you go on pezworld.co.uk. And uh, there's Glenn at Pezworld on Twitter there. So you can see we've got the goalkeeper Diallo. Now, I believe he's about 24. Yeah, 24. Still improving. Got some good goalkeeping stats. Pretty solid goalkeeper for the championship. We'll bring on the youngster, um, Elmonovsky. Because uh, we did sell our right back. And we've got Quintero playing as a second striker on the left. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll we'll pick it up as it goes, pick out the action. So hopefully we'll have a good match. So here we go, the first match at home of the season. A few players, uh, new players that is, including the goalkeeper. And I'm just going to change some of the settings there. Don't really want all of them on at the moment. It's Gory. The youngster here, and Kazari again. Nice turn there, Castellin. Quintero loses out. A lot of place around him there. Maybe they know he's a special player. And the big gaps open up here, but uh, it was pretty slow going by the AI there. Now the opposition. Seems to have, seems to have a bit more tip than the, the past couple of teams have played. Is this going to be a yellow card? Or just going to. No, nope, I think he's just getting the talking to, which is good. But gotta be careful here. That's why I had the play on the line. Oh my word. How did that not go in? Look at this. This is why I had the play on the line. I don't know if the keeper will look at there, possibly. But look at that strike. Keeper was absolutely nowhere. Here's Quintero, he doesn't quite get there to be honest. It's not he was intended to play the pass to, but here he is again. Surely that's a foul. Here's head edge with a strike, oh, good save there. Now Coutinho, I haven't seen the best of him in the past couple of games. Quintero, can he get a decent ball in? He certainly can, but what was that for Margras? Really need to get Quintero in the game. Just not doing so at the moment. Here he is though. Lovely ball. Great save. That's what Quintero can do for you. A little bit of class. Good ball in. It's a little bit high. Um, good first touch. Decent strike, but tight angle. He's continuing with a chance. Great strike, but fantastic save. Quintero just about gets in in front and wins a corner. Wonderful strike, good save. It's Quintero. Now, plays it too far ahead of him. Easily gets tackled. That was surely out. Look at that. Look at a foot over the line. Here's the youngster. Well, he loses it in a fairly dangerous position, but no harm done. And that is half time. So, 
not too much really happened in uh, in that half. The odd chance and possession fairly equal. So pick it up in the second half and see how it goes. Continue now. And that's the goal we wanted. That was the chance. Been waiting for that chance all game. It was Castledean that got in there. It's a nice little ball by Quintero, but it's uh, I think it's Coutinho that does all the work. Castledean in the right position. A nice little finish with his left foot. He is left footed, but uh, it's going across his body. It's a difficult finish. A nice camera angle there. Great start to the uh, second half. What we'll probably be doing is, if we get to a point where we feel we are playing too well, as in winning a lot of matches, we might up the difficulty to the top. Um, because as much as I like winning, and I don't want to make it too difficult because I'll just get frustrated, I want it to be fairly realistic as well, to an extent. I mean, it is a, it is a game, you know, I want to be winning the majority of the time. Oh, lovely ball to Coutinho, and what a finish. What a finish that was. But it was Quintero's ball. Let's have a look at that pass again. So here is Quintero. Look at that little pass with his right foot as well. He is left footed. Lovely cam angle here again. What a goal. Either. Oof. Nearly weaved his way through about five defenders. Definitely has that little spark you don't get with the other players. That's got to be a foul. Rightly so. Is it going to be a yellow? Just the token two. That's, that's fair enough. Nice touch from Yankov there. And a lot. Well, Hobby had a lot more time than I thought. That's the play from Yankov. Nice little flick and turn. Great pass. Probably should have scored. He's because I already haven't seen much of him. Nice turn with decent effort there, just wide. With his left, weaker foot. Because um, I already a playmaker this time. Decent ball, but it was the turn that did it. Just wide there. Offside there. That's not even offside. He's level. Nice ball away to save us. A half decent effort and a cross. Oh, that's wide. That wasn't even that close as well. 
bit of a flap at that one. Drops down a bit fortuitously. Oh, I sliced at it. So just a couple of minutes left now. Oh, nearly three. Probably should have been. Look at this little flick here, look at the flick of a pass. Really are playing on the top of a game at the moment. Not playing like a, a Master League default team. Really creating some chances. Maybe a quick ball in there. Poor first touch is really what uh, did it. Took it away from the uh, the goal. Didn't have the angle. Let's see. I think we'll um we'll try the uh, this guy. Let's see what he's like to take me. Corner. Not going to be fantastic, but not bad. And that should be full time, and it is. Again, a very good result. To be honest, that's probably the most convincing performance. Bristol came out the blocks flying. I thought it was going to be a tough game. They were passing it quite nicely, struggling to keep a hold of the ball. Um, but the second half, we absolutely dominated. We definitely seem to be playing the second half better than the first. And that's been the same in every game. Um, slightly more possession, but look at that 15 shots on target. Or 15 shots while then, 7 on target. That was amazing. Castle Dean man of the match, let's have a look through the rest. Argas, I thought Argas was a lot better than that. Quintero, 5.5. And, and where did they get that from? Uh, just all, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so. Very good match. We'll see if there's any updates on the um, on the transfers. So we are officially top now because of goal difference. Wage has been reduced slightly. Transfer by a fair bit. But let's have a look at the uh, possible outgoings. So Harvey, that's above his value. And he is flat there, so he's not going to get any better. Yeah, I'm going to accept that. Pallister. Oh, surely you can improve that. I mean, that's... Yeah, we're going to go for that. Dryzen. That's pretty much exactly what it should be. Yeah. We'll accept that. Just to get rid of them, to be honest. Circus. See, he's a youngster. He could improve by quite a bit. I'm going to adjust that. I'm not going to let him go that easily. Uh, are we? What have a thing about that one? Because the stats aren't great, and we could possibly bring someone through. At least equally is better. And with a similar wage. I'll tell you what, we'll accept that. So who was it? Um, who was it that we had just re renegotiated? Was it? The pastor? Right. Right, we're going to bring him in good stuff and what we will also do is if there is a left back leaving now we could bring in a few youths to be honest depending on what happens with other negotiations now look at that that's he's improving by quite a lot quite quickly we will bring in this left back I believe 
that's pretty much all our salary gone. Yeah, and that'll be it for now. What we'll have a look at is the schedule. So the next match, there's only one day, is Cardiff away. Cardiff are a decent team. Then we've got Fulham away as well. And then we've got the last day of the transfer window. Not that there'll be much more after this. A big gap. So we can afford to, to play our best players in the next couple of games. They will be tired, but there'll be a big gap. And we'll start it up again. So yeah, this has been the third episode with Toon Gamer on the Master League 2017. Um, I hope you did enjoy. If you can, like, subscribe and comment. And any feedback will be appreciated. Any ideas about decent signings will be really good as well. Obviously, I can't sign decent players at the moment, but I'm thinking possibly about season one, two, three and four ahead, you know. What are the players you've noticed? Because I'm very early on the Master League. Some of you may already be in the second season you know if you've been clowned straight through it um so give me some ideas so this has been the tune gamer and i'll see you next time